Today I'm just doing a quick video showing you how to take apart one of these older Makita impacts that looks like this. So first thing is you have to take out this front screw if you just want to open up the the um, motor compartment you can just do the normal take out all the screws and if, if I remember correctly you can then just take the the shell off but if you want to get into the impact mechanism and all the gears you have to do it this way so just pull that out that's the LED in there have to pull that screw out and then that piece has to come out that's the brake and then you have to carefully peel this off this is the um, glow in the dark ring comes off fairly easily then you just grab one of these wrenches definitely don't um, use a power tool like an impact wrench or some big breaker bar or anything on this it's best to use one of these and don't hammer on it so tighten it on then this goes counterclockwise like that. Then you just unscrew it. There's the there's the impact mechanism. And then to put it back together, you just start screwing it on. It does um, screw on counterclockwise. Now once you've gotten it as tight as you can with your hand, you can just put your wrench on there. Give it a good, not too tight, but tight enough. Then you put the the brake thingy mabobber back in. The tapered end goes down. Just use a hand screwdriver for screwing power tools back together. And you just slide that back on like that. And I always turn the screw backwards until I feel it drop or hear the bump. That way you make sure that you always find the original hole. and aren't constantly re-threading the holes. And just put this thing back on. The glow in the dark ring, make sure it lines up properly. Like that. Then you just works so thank you for watching i hope you found this useful i made this video because back when i took this apart for the first time 
I wasn't sure how um, to take it apart. Like, I got the shell off and then couldn't figure out how to take the impact driver assembly off. So, I made this video so that other people will be able to take theirs apart. Because this is a very nice little driver. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.